it is Sam Roberts. Welcome to the series, Are We There Yet? Today, we're gonna to take a look at your family, your future. Hey guys, today we're gonna to continue on talking about, are we there yet? And many times we're trying to find out, man, are we there yet in developing the type of family situation that we want as we grow in who God's calling us to be? And we're gonna talk about specifically today, your family, your future. Why? Man, because the relationship that we have with our parents will determine our future course in many different aspects of life. Let me give you just a silly example for me. Man, I, was, I grew up in Texas, and if you don't know much about Texas, let me just tell you, that everybody who grows up in Texas thinks that it's the biggest and the best state ever, right? And in fact, when I grew up, we had little bumper stickers that said, don't mess with Texas, okay? And so in that paradigm, I'm growing up and I'm a little kid, I'm outside playing and my dad's working on something. And all of a sudden it starts raining, but it's also sunny. And I'm like, what on earth? This blew my mind as a little kid. And I remember, you know, bugging my dad, 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 dad. He's like, what? I go, it's raining. And he's like, yeah. I go, and it's sunny. And he's like, Son, only happens in the state of Texas. Well, I just took it at face value. You said it's so matter of fact, I thought, it must be some geographic phenomenon and it can only occur in Texas. Just one more reason to grow up in the state of Texas. And I believed that and just took it at face value until I was 18 years old and I was on a traveling basketball team and we went around and played in different states and things. And we were driving across another state and we're in the van and all of a sudden, it starts raining and you guessed it it was sunny i was like guys you ain't gonna believe this look and you know everybody you know how it is on basketball team everybody laying over against the thing they got their dre beats on they ain't paying no attention and i'm like guys look 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 and they're like what man i go it's raining and they're like yeah what about it i go and it's sunny and they're like yeah and I luckily, when they said, yeah, and that second time I realized, oh, I have been duped. I bought in and believed something that was totally not true. It doesn't matter what state you're in or where you are. It rains and sun shines all over the place. And I thought, man, how silly. But you know what? A lot of times there's things that aren't so silly that get imparted to us as we grow from our parents. Um, now, many times, those things can be good things. They could be great godly examples uh, that you get to have and you're fortunate enough to have as a part of your relationship with your parents. Well, not all situations are great, are they? In fact, sometimes we can be in a situation that we find ourselves in that's really pretty bad and it can cause bitterness or anger, resentment. But those emotions do not have to determine the trajectory of your future because God's Word says something different. In Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, the Bible says that, man, you know what? I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to give you a hope and a future. So no matter what situation you find yourself in, what example is set before you? Either way, good or bad, if you submit yourself to God, He will redirect your steps. And no matter which one, good or bad, He will use both to give you a future and a hope. So how would you describe, you know, growing up, how would you describe, what are some thoughts about your, kind of your home life growing up? What would be your thoughts? Um, I definitely, uh, man, I, you know, I can't thank my mom enough for just being the, the strong lady she was. Um, you know, they got a divorce when I was three, and so it was just really my mom, my older brother, and me, and just, her trying to uh, support us, be there for us. Not only was she the only one working, obviously, um, but you know, really being mom and dad at that, and just trying to keep us involved in sports or whatever that is, you know, after work. And so, um, really, that's probably the most you know prominent thing that I remember is just how strong my mom was. But um, you know, obviously, my older brother was uh, very influential in my life. Um, you know, he was shot and killed at, at the age of 25, so at the age of 15, you know, I lost him, but uh, my mom still continued to be the strong woman that she still is, 
and you know get us to where we are now so a lot of people would say man you know what the, the cards are stacked against this kid and would probably a lot of times write you off but man God seemed to utilize even a situation that may not be the the most ideal you know that people would paint up but God took something that some people may look on and say it is broken but he took something that in a in a state of maybe not perfect and really utilize that to, to build traits and character in you. Talk about how that environment formed those character traits and those things in you that serve you today. All right, so um, no, that's, no, that's a great point. I, looking at that and, and just trying to you know think through that and sort through that is that obviously the, the strong of the, um, you know, uh, my mom just being, being in a situation where, you know, you work for everything you have you work for everything you have, life's gonna be tough, but you've gotta push through, you gotta persevere. So all those things I think definitely made me stronger today. You know, I, I, don't, um, I don't ask for handouts, um, you know, and I know that I'm giving God's grace, but at the same time, I know that I'm supposed to work uh, because he's given me that opportunity to work. And so looking at that, that has definitely made me stronger. Uh, the same thing is I almost have this, um, um, this drive to say I don't want to waste my life and I don't want to waste a day I don't want to waste a week and you know we hear the cliche of uh, people saying you know you don't know what tomorrow you know can bring or you don't know if you'll make it to tomorrow but it's like I've actually seen that and so and I've seen that all right so you talked about your mom and the perseverance that she put inside the whole not wasting a day and all those things that have built into you and man I love that because those are traits that really help uh, formulate your future. So what are you going to build in to your kids based off of your family and, and what you've been through that will extend into their future and build a, kind of a new generation, if you will? Man, I, I think definitely that same, those same traits. Um, you know, I want to uh, let them know that, um, you know, every, every day is a, is a privilege. You know what I mean? We get an opportunity to be here and to serve and to, to make an impact and influence. And so, uh, for my, I got two boys, um, and man, for, for my two boys, man, any opportunity that I get, man, I want to be there and I want to be pouring into their lives. Um, you know, I want them to know that family is important, and um, I want them to know that, uh, you know, that dad is, is doing everything I can to make it better for them. You know what I mean? Better than it was um, for me, and, and, and better than it could be without me there. So, what would you say to a, to a, uh, some, a, a kid who is maybe not in the greatest situation from a family perspective um, and you know sometimes feels like maybe I can't you know get things to happen or I, you know I'm not gonna amount to anything what do you say to those kids when you interact with them um, I think the biggest thing I say is I mean there's there's no excuses you know I mean for me I didn't grow up again without a dad and and there's other stuff that that happened in my life, man, but man, I, I just live by that. There's no excuse. You know, if I'm breathing, then I've got, um, you know, I've got an opportunity to, to better myself and to better those around me. And so um, I kind of live by that no excuse, um, you know, idea. And so that would be my challenge to them is that, man, there's just no excuse. You know, uh, you know, you have an opportunity, man, use it, use it. So let's talk about something. What do you do? if you find yourself in a situation that's not the greatest. Because a lot of times in our lives, man, and when I talk to people, we repeat things in our lives, both good and not so good. And the thing that we many times despise, we can become. But it doesn't have to be that way. You see, God, as we've talked about, has a different purpose and a different vision for your life if you'll allow Him to become that. He has a plan for you, and that plan is not for you to repeat the garbage that you're going through. The plan is for you to have a future and a hope in that future. And for you not to repeat that, it's, it's as simple as saying, you know what, I'm gonna draw a line in the sand. And you know what, I have had this occur to me and I've been a recipient of this, and man, many times, let me just be honest, Man, you're, you're receiving things and there's things happening to you that you don't deserve. But that doesn't mean anyone else does. And you know what? You don't have to repeat that stuff. It can stop with you. All you have to do is to look 
for godly examples around you. Look to God. Allow Him to begin to renew your mind and your thinking by you seeking Him daily, being in His Word, praying to Him, asking Him for wisdom. He'll give you a future. He'll show you a hope, something different. And what you'll see is at the end of the time when, man, you look back on your life, you can say, you know what? I went through a lot of stuff when I was a kid. I didn't repeat that stuff though. The analogy I like to use with people, it's like, you know, eat the fish, spit out the bones. We can almost always glean something good. Even in the worst of situations, there's some aspect that you can look at and be like, I'm going to go ahead and repeat that, but I'm not going to repeat this. And I will not pass this on to my friends, to my kids, or to anyone else around me. I will not reflect that. But I will choose to reflect God's glory as opposed to the bad things that happened to me. And with you, the great thing is, even if you're going through something difficult, you don't have to be a victim that repeats the past. You can actually be victorious in Christ because He alone holds the keys for you to breaking that cycle of sin that may have plagued your family. And you can determine the course of your future and how you relate to your friends, to your family, to your kids. And that thing that you hate so much can stop with you.